In today's Blender tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create this particular sci-fi portal animation that you can add into any of your scenes in the background or as the main deal to elevate your animations. In our default scene, we're going to delete the default cube. We're going to search for a plane and just scale it by 5 and then rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Grab it on the z-axis up by 5 units, holding Ctrl to snap it just so that we have our plane and we can go to the render view and start all of the texturing that's going to be done to this plane. We also have a lamp over here we can delete the lamp so now let's create a new window by clicking clicking and dragging from there change the editor type to the shader editor hit n to remove that go to the materials and add a new material in the material properties itself we'll change the blend mode to alpha blend and the shadow mode to none once we're done with that let's zoom into our material in the shader editor and start with the actual material so our portal is going to be circular so in that case we're going to search for a gradient texture we're going to hit ctrl t to get the texture coordinate and mapping nodes make sure that you have the node wrangler add-on switched on then switch it from generated to object and now currently our gradient texture is linear horizontally so we don't want that so we're going to change it to spherical and since we put our object coordinates it's going to come right to the center now the next thing that we want is some more control over this so we're going to search for a color ramp we're going to place the color ramp right over here and we're going to change from linear to ease once we've changed it to ease we can go ahead and place this color into both the alpha as well as the emission then we can move our principal bsd all the way over here shift all of these out and then the emission color right now is going to be white we don't want it to be white we want it to be other colors so we're just going to search for a mix rgb and we're going to place that right here and we're also going to be changing the factor later on and the color later on but first we need this gradient to actually now have our wormhole effect so in order to do that we're going to search for a noise texture and we're going to place that right here we're going to take the noise texture and control shift click it to preview it remember this control shift click to preview nodes is also a part of node wrangler so you need the node wrangler add-on to switch this on so right now we see what the noise texture looks like but we need more control so we're going to take the color ramp duplicate it with shift D and just place it right over there and now we can just drag in the black a little bit to get some more contrast drag in the white if necessary but we're going to keep the white all the way over there and we're also going to control T this to get the mapping and texture coordinates now since we're going to be using the object coordinates itself we do not require this texture coordinate we can delete it and just use the object from this texture coordinate itself and plug that in right there so now this noise we want it to be more like a portal so in order to do that we're going to add some noise to the noise so we're going to shift D this noise texture and we're going to search for a mix RGB again and we're going to place that in right over here and now we're going to change this noise texture from 3D to 4D and we're going to put the color into the color right here and now we can see how we get these nice swirls that look a lot like a portal if we change the W value it actually moves around just like a portal would so in order to get this to move around without us having to manually keyframe it we're just going to add in a driver so we're going to type hash frame so that we get the frame number and w is very sensitive so we're going to divide the frame number by some large number like 1000 and there we actually have what we get now remember this is currently playing at 24 frames per second we don't want that so we're going to go to our output properties change our frame rate to 30 frames per second and our end time to 300 so that we get a 10 second long animation so now with this we can actually tweak it around a little bit with the mix we get how much of the actual noise we want to add in so this is no noise at all and this is complete all the noise i think it looks good at something like 0.8 and that looks good so now we actually need this to come only within the circular area so we have the circular area right here we need these two to be mixed so we search for a mix rgb but we change it from mix to multiply and we change the factor all the way to one we place this color ramp socket value right here and we place this color ramp value right here and then we place this color into the color of the mix rgb we don't need this connection anymore and now we can go ahead and control shift click our principal psdf and see what we have right now so this is our current portal it's currently white but we need it to change color so in order to do that in this mix that we already had placed right here we're going to take color 2 and we're going to change it to whatever color we want the portal to be so i want it to be a nice green and then increase the factor and make sure that the output of this multiply is what's going into the alpha now let's just increase this factor to something like 0.6 and there we go 
our emission strength, we can just increase that to something like five and we can go ahead and switch on bloom in our render output properties. Go to the world settings and just change the background color all the way to black and emission strength maybe too. So right now this is what we have. I've just increased the color ramp a little bit more. I feel like we can increase the scale here to something like 10. That would look a little better. A lot of these settings now is just going to be based off of your own personal preference. So let's change this scale to 5 and also make sure that we change this factor to 0.8. So once we have this set up, the portal would require some type of external object creating the portal. So we're just going to quickly create that. We're going to search for a mesh torus. We're going to go to the menu and just change the minor radius to 0 0.125. And then we're going to rotate that on the X axis by 90 degrees, grab it on the Z axis right up to the center, and then just scale it by five. And there we go. We're also going to see that this is quite low poly. You can clearly see how low poly it is. So we're going to make it much higher much higher poly by giving it a subdivision surface so we're going to hit control 2 and that adds in a modifier with subdivision surface level 2 and we're going to go to object shade smooth once we have all of that done we need to add in this lights for the scene so we're going to do shift a light point light we're going to go to the light properties and change the power to 1000 and then we're just going to grab it on the z axis and just move it up similarly we're going to shift d z and move one more down and we're also going to shift D, Z and just move on to the center. The one at the center, we're going to reduce the power to something like 200. And we're going to change the color to a greenish color. Now we're going to take our torus and give it its material. So we're going to add new. We're just going to create our simple sci-fi materials. So we're going to search for a Voronoi texture. And then we're going to search for a color ramp. We're going to change the Voronoi texture from F1 to F2 and we're going to change it from Euclidean to Chebyshev because that's a pretty sci-fi look. We're going to place the color into the factor of the color ramp and we're going to take this color ramp data. We're going to search for a bump node, convert it into normal data and plug it into the height and place the normal into the normal. So right now you can see how it's stretching because it's using generated coordinates. So we're going to click our Voronoi, control T and just change it from generated to object. Once you have that done, you can play around with the scale by a bit maybe we'll go with six and along with that we're going to take this color ramp and we're also going to increase the metallic of this and under the roughness we're going to just take the color ramp and place that in. let's just take our camera alt g alt r to clear location and rotation r x 90 g y just so that you can move it back and then g z by five units and then let's just hit zero on the numpad to get our camera view let's go to our viewport display and put the passport out to one you can clearly see that we still Still don't have the entire object present in our view so we're going to just grab it on the y move it back some grab it on the z move it up by one more unit and then that should be it but it's not so let's increase this power to something like 800 or 1000 itself let's take these two lamps point and point one and just grab it on the y just to the front by a little bit and with that we have our portal we have our sci-fi portal that's ready to be used in whatever project we want it to be in you can go ahead to our output properties select the right output folder you can just hit double slash if you have the correct folder already selected if you it'll go to the folder in which the blender file is saved change the file format to ffmpeg video encoding to mpeg4 output quality perceptually lossless and with that you can just render animation. I hope you found this video useful and you can actually use this in different short films. There is a surprise coming up in the next video. So do stick around to find out what that surprise is. And until next time, stay creative.